and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm uh, kind of in the future <laughs> filming a different video. Realize I hadn't filmed an intro to this video so you're gonna see me in this makeup uh, and in this top uh, gearings bubble crazy hair. Uh, in a future video, or maybe in a previous video, I don't know which way they're going up. <laughs> I'm so organized. <laughs> but I just thought I'd hop in and let you guys know what's going on with this video. I mean, you guys can tell from the title, obviously. So today we're going to be doing a wear test review on the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation in the shade 1. I have oily skin, just so you guys know that off the bat. <laughs> and I decided to order the mini because I wanted to try it out before I bought the full thing. You know, I have oily skin. And this doesn't really seem like a typical foundation for oily skin, so I just thought I'd, you know, just just test the waters, you know, just like a little bit before I bought the whole thing. So I bought the mini, it cost me £8.50, uh, and this is what came. Like, hello! It's literally just the tiniest thing and cutest thing ever. Look at the little smiley face, oh my gosh. This holds six mil of product. I got this off Feel Unique. It's also available in like Debenhams and things like that. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if the mini is available there, but the full size product is. The full size product online ranges from like 22 to 26 pounds. There's different retailers that hold this, like Cult Beauty, Feel Unique. My camera just very rudely died on me, so if it moves slightly, that's all right. So let's get onto the claims of this foundation. It's supposed to be a light medium coverage foundation. It's got SPF 15. It's supposed to blur imperfections and have a natural soft matte finish. It's supposed to be weightless, breathable and gives a natural looking coverage. So as per all foundation descriptions, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> Before we get into the try on and everything like that, if you like foundation reviews and you like a little bit of craziness and you like a little bit of makeup, then why not subscribe? I'm your perfect candidate right here. <laughs> all you need to do is hit the little red subscribe button down below and the bell button next to it and you'll get notified of all my uploads then. If you have skin like mine or you're just interested in new products then why not follow along? And if you like a foundation review leave a thumbs up because it really helps me out and I know to keep on making them. But yeah, so let's get on to the foundation application and also the full day wear test. By the way, just disclaimer, I'm not wearing this foundation right now. I know, I, I said I'm organized. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so I've already moisturized and primed. I've been using the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. It's really good, really love it. So nice in this heat as well. <laughs> when they said mini, they were not kidding. I wonder if this is gonna cover my whole face. Uh, I do love everything mini though, let's not lie. Look how freaking cute and small this is. <laughs> So my hopes aren't very high for the shade just because it's Benefit and they don't really have my shade. They never really have. But let's let's have a little bit of hope, guys. Let's see. I'm assuming this is gonna be a very watery feeling foundation, but let's have a look at the consistency. Oh, it's actually not liquidy at all. I know I've only put a tiny dot on there, but it's actually very thick. Okay, I'm just gonna use this to shade match. Doesn't look too bad, actually. I thought it was gonna be more orangey, because typically Benefits line is. Just gonna put a little bit by here, and we shall shade match to my chest. I stand corrected. <laughs> yep, that is pretty dark and pretty orange, as you guys can see. Mm. Do I really want to put this on my face? <laughs> well, I've committed now, so we are going to try it. Why, why orange? I don't get it. After I've kind of like rubbed it in with my finger, it's kind of blended in a little bit, but still orange. <laughs> So like usual with my foundation reviews, I'm going to be using a brush and a sponge to see which one applies best. I'm just going to put out a little bit more in here. I'm still shocked by the consistency considering it's supposed to be like a light to medium coverage I believe. Like look at that, it doesn't move on my palette at all. I'm going to try with a sponge first even though I'm pretty sure it's going to need a brush to build up the kind of coverage that I want. Oh, it smells uh, quite strong. This may actually be like a decent match my face but I'm just going to be a lot darker than my chest. Because it's so thick, I pretty much applied all of what was on my palette. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with my sponge. It's already damp. Let's see what kind of coverage and look we get with this. Yes, it is a very, very sheer coverage with the sponge especially. We'll see if we can build it up in a second. It's called the smoothing foundation, but I'm not really seeing any smoothing. You can still see all my freckles coming through, all of my imperfections. It's pretty much just gotten rid of some of my redness on my face, but not a lot else. I'm gonna try going in a little bit more with my sponge. I'm gonna try dipping it into the product, see if that will help get me more coverage. So let's build it up a little. I'm hoping this is gonna be buildable. It smells quite strong. It almost has like an alcoholic scent to it, which is a little bit concerning for something that doesn't have that much coverage that's supposed to be like lightweight because alcohol will dry out your skin. I'm gonna bring this down my neck because <laughs> 
shade. Like, look at that. <laughs> oh dear. I thought this was going to be more of a kind of dewy finish. It's more of a natural finish. I'd say even like a demi matte. There's not a lot of sheen to my skin at all. I feel like on the camera it's looking more sheeny than what it actually is. My skin doesn't really look smooth, but my pores aren't really enhanced. But I wouldn't say it's a smoothing kind of foundation at all. So this is like a before and after for you guys before we go into the brush side. As you can see it's just kind of got rid of some of my redness and evened me out a little bit. I have a feeling this one isn't gonna wear the best and I don't know why. I feel like it's gonna get dry over time just because of the finish. I don't know maybe I should stop judging a book by its cover but that's just the kind of feeling I get. Considering how thick it was, it doesn't really feel heavy on the skin. I don't really feel anything on my face, which is good. I'd say this is a pretty low medium coverage. As you can see, you can still see all of my freckles here. You can still see like a spot that I've got there, a spot that I've got here. So it won't cover your soul, but it'll maybe lighten it a bit, you know? <laughs> anyway, let's go into the brush side. I have used a hell of a lot of product with this and this is a pretty small bottle. I don't really want to be using all of this up in one application. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say I have that big of a face either. This is like a weird one, considering how thick the actual formula is. When I put it on my face, it really doesn't stay thick. <laughs> it really doesn't bring up pigment, if you know what I mean. It looks like it's just going to be a load, and then you can still see your skin when you put it on your face. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with my stippling brush and do some circular motions like I usually would with this. Root. See if this goes any further with the brush because with the sponge, I don't feel like my sponge absorbed a lot of the product, but it just didn't really spread it out. So hopefully the brush will give us more bang for our buck, like you know. <laughs> By the way, I'm using natural lighting today, so sorry if the lighting keeps changing. Okay, so I feel like it went a little bit further on the brush side, but not a huge difference, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was really easy to blend out with the brush and there's no brush streaks, which is pretty cool. As you can see, my brush really hasn't absorbed any of the product either, which is pretty good. I am gonna try going in with the brush like I did with the sponge and see if I can get more coverage. Cause you know, we're still in the sheer coverage spectrum right now. There's not a lot of coverage going on. I think I actually prefer the finish with a brush, which usually, as you guys know, I do prefer going in with a sponge. I have been using a brush more often, but I usually would prefer a sponge. I definitely need more coverage though, so I'm going in with some more. And I'm worried that this bottle is pretty much empty already. <laughs> All right, let's go in. Okay, so I don't mind the way that this looks on my skin. I am feeling like on the brush side, I'm seeing my pores just a little bit more, just a smidgen. It just doesn't sit as smoothly. I do feel like though on the brush side, I have more of a dewy finish, which is so weird considering, you know, a sponge has water and a brush doesn't. <laughs> Just to see if I can kind of smooth out the pore area, I am just going to go over with my sponge just because I prefer the way it looks on the other side. So it's looking a little bit funky on my nose as well. I'm just going to try and smooth this out a little. It's laying weirdly around my nose right now. It looks like it's kind of collecting, but only on this side. I'm hoping I can show you what I mean. Grown by here. I'm just going to try and blend it out with my finger, see if that helps. Okay, so I just kind of took it off with my finger. I'm going to go in with the other side of my sponge and just kind of try and blend. So that looks a little better. It's kind of smoothed out a little bit more. So as far as application wise, it's very thick, very kind of mediocre coverage. <laughs> this isn't the kind of coverage that I usually go for. I don't mind it. But usually I'd like something with just a smidgen more coverage. I don't mind the way that it looks on my skin. It's not my favourite foundation ever. It doesn't make my skin look bad in any sense. It's just, it just kind of makes it look normal. Whereas with the foundation, if I'm applying it, I want my skin to look better. <laughs> as for the shade, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it is still, you know, a shade or two darker than me and also kind of orangey based. But I feel like I can get away with it and it's not like a Maybelline Superstay situation. That was bad. <laughs> it is now 25 past 10, but I have just been sitting here rambling for the past 10 minutes, so let's call the check-in time quarter past 10. I'm gonna go ahead, do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be back with you in a second. Hey guys, just thought I'd do a quick little update. Please ignore my hair, okay? I let it dry naturally, and today is hair washing day, and it's just an abundance of mess. Try and ignore the frizz. <laughs> but anyway, the foundation. So it's been a little while, it's now almost half past 12, so it's been a few hours and I took my time doing my makeup. <laughs> this is what I did with my face, I did a little yellow cut crease for today because there's glorious sunshine outside and it makes me feel a little bit happier. <laughs> the fact that I'm going to work in two hours though doesn't make me feel better. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'm not really having a good 
makeup day today. The eyes came out alright, but the rest of my skin, I just, I don't really like the way my skin looks. I don't know about this one. Maybe it'll look better throughout the day, I'm hoping, but I, I highly doubt it. <laughs> it's just not doing anything for my skin texture, it's not doing anything for blemishes, like you can dead ass see this one here. I was thinking about going over it with concealer, but then I feel like that's defeating the purpose of a foundation review, so I decided not to. One thing to know is when I did put it on, it almost set down. It wasn't completely set, so I did powder it down and set it so I could blend everything over top. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin, but it looks like I also don't either. It literally just pretty much evened out my redness. I think the shade might have oxidized like a tiny, tiny bit. I don't think you can really see on camera properly, but I blended it quite far down my neck just to <laughs> see if I can salvage it. But yeah, I feel like you can see every single ounce of texture on my skin. It isn't settling into my lines up here. I I've got one side of my forehead over here where lines are starting to come into fruition. It's my age showing, even though I'm only 25. <laughs> it's fine. It's natural. Whatever. The foundation isn't settling into them, but you can still kind of see them along my head, which I don't particularly want. But you know what, I'll cope with it today. At the moment, this doesn't look like one I'm going to be reaching for. Just straight up. If it doesn't look good on first application, then am I going to bother continuing to wear it? I, I highly doubt it. Maybe it'll make a miraculous change and it'll look amazing. You never know. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go about the rest of my day and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit and we'll see how this wears. I may get changed as well because it is hot and I need to wear something that's weather appropriate. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, I'm just gonna do a check-in right now. Um, this is gonna be the only and last check-in. It's currently half past eight, so this has been on for over 10 hours. I really wanna wash my face right now. I feel gross, my face feels heavy, and I know for a fact I'm just completely an oil slick. This has not lasted very well on my oily skin. As you can probably see, I am just literally just slathered in oil right now. About two hours in, I had to touch myself up because I looked like this and I was in work and it just caked up horribly like on my top lip. It just looks all weird and bunchy and it's kind of worn off around my nose. It's coming off a little bit on my forehead by here. And you can clearly see that it's the foundation because where I've set my under eye, fine. But then my face is just looking terrible. My blush and my bronzer is still there. It's kind of patched off a little bit in certain areas. It looks a little funky on my nose. And whenever I make expressions in my face, it kind of creases. Like I tend to do this sometimes throughout the day and I had lines. This one just really, really isn't for my skin type and it's not got that good coverage and right now it feels really heavy so this one is a no-go for me that £8.50 went down the drain real fast <laughs> also I'm getting like spots that I haven't seen before I don't know if they were there in the beginning but yeah, this one, definitely not. <laughs> okay, so that is it from me. I'm gonna go wash my face now. If you're new and you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Just hit the red button down below and the bell button so you get notified of new uploads. I'm in search for that perfect summer foundation, so just follow along on the journey and we'll see if we can find that perfect one together. If you like foundation reviews, then please leave a thumbs up so I know. It really helps me out when you guys do those things because it helps me reach more people. But yeah, that is it from me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, bye guys. I've been using the Origins Puff. I've been using the Origins Puff Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, why is this so hard to say? Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Priber. Priber. Oh my god, if I have to say this again. I've been using the Origins. Uh, Origins. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> oh, dear me.